All right, and it's ironic that uh, earlier today I posted the video about, you know, um, my initial thoughts on the R. Kelly series. I made a couple mistakes in there. For number one, I didn't know it was six episodes. I thought it was only three, meaning that I have some catching up to do. I'll definitely uh, sit down and just, you know, go through it all at once at some point during this upcoming week. I believe the final three episodes air tonight or yesterday I forgot but either way by the end of this upcoming week I will watch but remember the haves and the have nots does make its return on Tuesday so obviously if I don't watch the R. Kelly thing before Tuesday I probably won't get to it until maybe Wednesday because you know I gotta do my episode review trailer breakdown for the next Tuesday and all that good stuff especially if we get any theories um, that I can talk about within the episode. So just be aware of that. But I I don't know if I could say I'm surprised by this. But I just read a report that um, R. Kelly's music spiked by like 16% on Spotify ever since the Surviving R. Kelly um, docu-series came out uh, a couple days ago on Lifetime. Wow. I mean... I'm not surprised by the spike in numbers, but obviously people online are like, man, this is ridiculous. How can you support um, this person, you know, uh, taking advantage of these young girls and whatnot? I'm not saying who's right and who's wrong on that statement. What I'm saying is it doesn't surprise me that the music spiked and not just because oh, yeah, you know what? They're just trying to take down a black man, so I'm just going to go and listen to this music I support. I want to be blasting ignition. That's not really what I'm saying. I'm saying that watching the... what? Did, yeah, I've watched the first one and a half, one and a half of the episodes, and some of the music is like, you know, you find out the reasoning, the true meaning behind the lyrics of certain songs. And for people who have, you know, like me, who grew up listening to the music, remember I was born in 91. So um, during the time, Ignition, Step in the Name of Love, I was only like maybe 10 or 11. Uh, of course, not even knowing this happened while the trial was going on. Like th those hits came out while the trial was going on. I ain't know, I ain't know none of that stuff. So growing up on the music and knowing almost every song by heart, Watching this docu-series, ser finding out the true meaning of stuff, you go back and try to catch if you actually, oh, what? In 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 verse 3, he actually was saying about so-and-so. That's a natural thing to do. Now, again, I'm not making this video to say, oh, you should go listen, or if you listen, you're wrong. I'm just saying what the natural reaction of curiosity would be because, for example, I think I said this in another video um, Rebecca Black song Friday. I remember when that came out, one of the worst songs in history. The reason that song got so many views, aside from people hating it and whatnot, if you tell your friend, yo, check, you got to check out this song on YouTube for one of the worst songs of all time in the music video, what are they going to do? Out of curiosity, they're going to check it out. And this is how this stuff blows up. So I'm not surprised, actually, that the sales went up. Uh, what was it last year, I think? Spotify or whatever was trying to take R. Kelly's music, not off Spotify, but off of the popular playlist and whatnot due to, um, you know, the woman coming forward. And obviously there was backlash about, about that because, okay, so you want to take R. Kelly's music off the playlist because of the women coming forward and everything like that. But on your hot playlist, you have all these songs that are literally talking about, you know, effing women and stuff like that. Yet you're promoting that, but you're going to take off the music of R. Kelly because of these charges. Now, once again, I'm not taking sides here, but I'm just saying that it's very hypocritical there. But yeah, same thing, you know, with the whole baby is cold outside controversy last month when certain people and radio stations were taking the song off because of the Me Too movement. So you're going to take off a classic Christmas song. But then you're just like, okay, we're going to take this song off because of the Me Too movement. But here we're going to play this Cardi B song about, you know, Check out my ass or whatever. It's, you see what I mean there? It's ridiculous. So am I surprised by the surge in R. Kelly music revenue? Not really. I mean, there are people who are going to support him no matter what. And I, I will admit, the people who support R. Kelly and say that, man, leave him alone and stuff like that, no matter what, you got the video evidence of him peeing on a girl. You have all these women coming forward now. 
and all these people from behind his team and whatnot who actually admit this is this is like uh, I see why people are like you know how is Bill Cosby behind bars but R. Kelly isn't I mean uh, most people make the argument about consent and these women telling the age and what yada 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 but it's just that unlike the Bill Cosby at least you know from what I know and again I don't know everything in regards to this stuff I'm pretty sure there are people who follow these cases fact by fact news report by news report it seems to me that the evidence is definitely stacked up against R. Kelly like it was during the trial, yet he's still walking free. Whereas Bill Cosby, you only, for the most part, take women by their word. True, you have people from like the different sets he was on and people who all of a sudden now talk about, you know, you know, I, I knew about this young girl, that young girl, or I just felt like a dark energy when I was on the set. But when it comes to R. Kelly, you know, these people literally say like, yeah, you know, we would go pick up these girls and whatnot. Then these parents would talk about, you know, oh, we, our daughter wants to be a star or, you know, people letting their younger female relatives or daughters hang around the studio and whatnot. I don't know, guys. It's, it's really crazy. So it, it's like, you know, the white or just Trump supporters in general who support him no matter what, despite all the, you know, grab him by the you know what's and the locker room talk and all this stuff that's piled up against him. He's still in the white house. And then you have, um, well, for the most part, you know, black people are Kelly is like, you know, man, let the, it is, it's like a damned, if you do damned, if you don't situation. So what I, what I'm not trying to do on this channel or in this video is to tell you whether or not to support R. Kelly. That's not my call to make. You have the ability to choose what you do, what listen to the music. Don't listen to the music. Um, I don't care. I mean, obviously, it's not up to me. Everybody has their own choice. It definitely isn't right. And like I said in my initial thoughts video, I think it's really messed up that um, the people within the circle that let this stuff happen, you know, like all because they didn't want to uh, mess up their jobs. It's just like, wh when does human morality come in here? But like I said, you know, um, you you can on you can make your own call. And like I said, uh, I will try to watch the entire series before the end of this upcoming week. And if I feel up to it, then I'll definitely do like, um, I, I wouldn't say review because I doubt I'll go through every single thing that was mentioned in this six part series. Because again, I thought it was only three, but um, if, if there isn't anything for me to add to the conversation, then I probably won't do a video, but after watching it, maybe I'll change my tune. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, once again, uh, have you been listening to R Kelly on Spotify? And if you have, Hey, it's all you don't I'm not, I'm not faulting you for it but yeah let's just wait and see what happens after this congratulations on making it to the end of this video if you like what you saw be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going on the left hand side of the screen you should see a picture of jeffrey harrington you can click on him in order to subscribe but also hit the bell notification icon that way you don't miss out on any new content also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.